What's going on guys? So in this video we are going to be dealing with another Python exercise. Now this video is going to be very similar to a video I did the other day in that it's going to deal with the list and duplicate items. So the previous video dealt with two lists and we had to find intersecting or common elements among them or you can say duplicates among them. But in this video, we're going to be dealing with one list and we're going to try to find duplicate items within this list. So if you take a look at this list A, you'll notice that there are several duplicate items. For example, the 7, the 4, the 8, and the. So our goal is to extract these duplicate items or actually create a list that's going to represent these duplicate items. So you can think of uh, the list as a subset of this container. So we have a, a data container filled with items and we're trying to find or extract the items that are duplicates. All right, so now before you guys try to tackle this challenge, I just want to give you a hint. You can actually solve this problem in a pretty clever way using one of the uh, Python features that I went over in my videos. So you can browse some of my Python videos and see if anything comes to mind. And hopefully you'll see something that will help you solve this particular problem. All right, so now I want you guys to try to tackle this on your own. And once you're done, you guys can come back and resume the video. So pause the video here and try to tackle it on your own. All right, welcome back guys. So hopefully you were able to solve this. If not, I will show you my solution. All right, so the trick to use here is counter from collections. That is actually why I've recently created a video on counter collections. This is because I wanted to actually solve this problem with you guys, but I figured I should first introduce counter collections before doing so. All right, so let's just take a look at the solution, then we'll break it down. Now to save time, I'll just copy and paste everything. All right, so I've copied and pasted the solution. Now the solution uses a list comprehension with counter within it. Now if you guys don't know what list comprehensions are, you can Google or YouTube it, but I'll try to create a video if you guys want me to. I guess I should just create a video for completion's sake. Basically, a list comprehension allows you to loop through an iterable and create a, a list in a very quick and efficient way. So the iterable that we're iterating through is counter a.items. So if you remember in my counter video, if we feed in an iterable into the counter constructor, we get back a counter object and we can uh, run various different counter methods on the counter object. So in this case, we're going to run items. So if you go back and watch my previous video, you'll notice that items gives us back a list of tuples. So the tuples have two elements, and the first element is going to represent the element or the item itself, and the second element is going to represent the count occurrences. If we look at A, one of the items we'll get back from counter is going to be the element 7, and then the count representing the number of occurrences of 7 within the iterable. So for our case, it's going to be 7 and 2 because we have two occurrences of 7. So as we loop through each of these items within counter a.items, uh, we can split up the tuple into an element and count. Now there's a few things going on here. So for each element and count, we want to return an element only if count is greater than 1. Now if count is greater than 1, that means we have a duplicate item uh, within the iterable. Now let's just run this and see what we get. All right. So let me just uh, show you guys. Hopefully it's not too bad with all of this extra text noise in the output, but you can see the 7, 4, 8, and the. So it's successfully able to pull out the duplicate items. So 7, 4, 8, and the. So not only numbers, but uh, words as well. All right, so that brings a close to this challenge. If there are similar videos or anything you want to see, uh, let me know, and I'll try to create some more uh, Python exercises. All right, so I'll see you guys next time.